Hey everyone, welcome back. It's your favorite realtor here in South Florida, and I brought you to North Miami Beach. We are on the 25th floor of the reserve at the Marino Palm, and you're looking at a four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, plus a den. We're looking at about 4,800 square feet total, built in 2017, asking $4,999,000. I just wanna give a quick shout out to the listing agent for allowing us to do this tour. And if this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you do, your life will only get better. Yep. And on that note, let's head inside and get started. So when you come down your private corridor, penthouse eight, clearly listed right over here. This is impressive to me already, but come on inside. On my left, right before you come in, for the guests, easy access. You got the half bathroom, the design in there, just marvelous, right? You got that nice floating sink, you got all the works. And as we walk in, it's gonna take us into our main living area. This is where you walk in every day and you think, I'm so happy I bought this place. Views of Miami, the water, just peace and serenity. And we'll start this right off in the kitchen. So when you come into the kitchen, first, one thing that I really like is how it just flows right down to where you can sit down and eat and you have a picture perfect view of the water and you got literally everything you're gonna need to entertain or if you have a big family, it's got the works. You got the wine cooler above, the drink coolers down below. Over here, you got your refrigerator, freezers down below, and then just cabinetry. All the cabinetry that you'll ever need. On top of that, the vent for the stove, which I'm really a big fan of, is like that kind of vent where you uh, you go to like the restaurant, they're like, all right, take it, take it done. It's just the serving kitchen right here. Big fan of that. Really sleek and elegant. It kind of like contrasts the, the whole Miami vibe. All right. Then we got the, like I said, the Wolf stove cooktop, Wolf appliances for the microwave, coffee maker, ovens, and then all of this. Once you're done having a field day in here, it just takes you into the quiet little breakfast area. The light fixture above is just the last thing that you need when you're sprinkling the salt in the steak. And all of this is complemented by that view. And it doesn't get much better than that. So we'll come around, we'll cross back around the kitchen and we'll take a look at your dining room. So just like the light fixture you have over there, you have like the adult version of it over here. That's a breakfast, this is the dining. And what I like about this is how it's very inclusive. It's all connected. If you're having the dinner party, if you're just drinking, if TV night, like everyone's in the same room, it's a great place to just sit down and have a casual meal as well. Surrounded by the windows again. All this talk about the views from the dining room, I think it's best that I just take you out there. And this is actually where we did the intro. So you'll get to see what it looks like. And hold up, just for a second. For those of you who don't know much about Sunny Isles, Collins Avenue, this is basically where the most expensive, wealthiest condos and penthouses are. The beaches are beautiful, the views are sick, and you get to like look at it and you're not stuck in all that traffic, which is really great. All the square footage here out in the terrace, the water, you're so close to it that you can, you can't even see it. When you look like this, just water by your feet everywhere. And you got, listen how quiet that is. <laughs> kind of shocking how quiet it is. You can boat out here. There's docks down below. The community pools right there. It's just, this is a dream location. And I think it's the kind of spot where the camera does the talking and not the tour guide, so. So from here, let's take a look at the living room. The furniture that you see here, all this luscious, beautiful furniture, that's because it was made by Stephen G. Designed and created by his vision, and it's also included in the asking price. Bet you didn't know that. I bet you thought this was extra. Nope. Listen, you give me a full price offer, we're throwing in the furniture, that's right. On top of that, one thing I'd like to point out besides the obvious is if you look up, the lights, the reflection that they create on the ceiling is something that I've actually never seen before. And I'm a huge fan of it. I'm a really big fan of that. It's like mini disco balls, if you will. And the TV is in the spot where it should always be, just flush against that wall in between two windows. Basically, when you're sitting here watching TV, you're extremely distracted because all you're looking at 
is water from the bottom and then the real city of Miami in the distance. This is really truly a dream view. And then coming out the living room as I come to this side, just off of where the kitchen and all the bar stools and everything is over here, it just leads into your quiet little bar. This is the head of the household, right? You come here, you just, what does everyone want to drink? Jason, I know you like Hennessy, here you go. You get everything settled, everything's ready to go. Storage down below, drink cooler, display case, put your collectible, put some drink, your favorites go over here. It's just uh, no complaints, no complaints. And this is the best view, definitely just sitting back, looking at it all. It's impressive, I gotta say it's impressive. But let's continue on, we got a lot more to show you. So as you come down, we're gonna look at the guest bedrooms. Let's take a look. As you come in, of course you're gonna get the full ensuite on one side, the walk-in closets, before I lie to you. Yeah, it's a little walk-in. You know what, walk-in storage, enough storage. If you need more clothes than this, that's not a guest, that's someone living here. So as you come in, enough room for the dual beds, which is great if you have like a lot of people visiting and it's mostly just like one person living in the house. However, if you wanna make this one bed in here, do you know how much space you would have? It'd be insane. And you got these Juliet windows right over here so you can crack them open, get some fresh air. But once again, every bedroom has just like the most ridiculous view. And again, another beautiful light fixture. It kind of looks like a bunch of vases, vases, just like stuck into a circle. Big fan. We just check to see what's here. Storage, extra storage. We don't need to look at that. On my right, also the laundry room. Once again, you've seen them all. You don't really need to go in there. But on my right, it's gonna take us to another guest bedroom. This time, you actually do get like the traditional like walk-in closet, storage all the way around. So this, there's plenty of space in here. Then directly across, you get the uh, ensuite bathroom. And then just take a look. This kind of gives you an example of how big the room could be if you don't have two beds in it. So when I first saw this, I actually thought this was the master bedroom. And I was like, okay, okay, I like it. I see it, right? However, it's not. This isn't even the master bedroom. And you still get those crazy windows. You know what, where's the remote? Because you, when you come into here, you don't leave it halfway down. You crank that baby all the way up because look what's directly in front of you. That's Miami, Miami, the city. Huge oversized bed. The furniture is just exceptional. You could probably take pictures like this on your iPhone because you live here. And on top of that, one thing in here that I really like, just wanted to mention it, I kind of want this for my room. How about this cow, hopefully fake, floor to ceiling mirror? Love that. As we come out, it's gonna walk across and you're thinking, what is this? Is this another living room? This is the den. Or how about this? I got a theater in my house. In my penthouse, there's a theater and a great place to just kick back and do some work. And I like that light fixture a lot. And out of this room, on my right, here we have the master bedroom. Just kidding, it's not. But isn't that crazy? This could absolutely. So once again, when I saw this, I was like, mm -mm, this is the master bedroom. I mean, how could it not be? Enough space for a sitting room, king size bed. That light fixture is just literally incredible. It's, it's a bunch of trumpets stuck to a circle. Whew, I'm bad at describing those things. All right. <laughs> and then on top of that, you get the luxury of having your private very own balcony, which I didn't, gotta be honest with you, I didn't even know was here. But when you come out, you still get that peace and quiet that you had on the other one. You get the same kind of views overlooking it all. The city of Miami all the mangrove trees. <laughs> it's got great sitting space out here and the views are really just endless. So let's come back inside, right? And then on my right, the walk-in closet. This thing is pretty big, got a lot of space, very happy guests indeed. And then on my left, you got the, I guess it's not the master bedroom, but you get a really huge ensuite, literally like the same size as you would see most master suites have. It's got this really, cool soaking tub. How about a skylight? So you can sit down here and just be like, <sighs> nature. From here, let's head back out, go back down this hallway and take a look at the master bedroom.
coming out down this hall, the only thing that's going through my mind right now is I can't believe for the asking price, the views you get and the space you get so far. And we haven't even seen the master bedroom and what it has to offer. So you don't even know. But as we come back in right across, so you, this is literally all for the guests. And this, the only people coming into here are the people who paid for this property. Keep that in mind. So you come in, got your closets on one side. This is just like the smaller linens, nonsense stuff on one side. But over here is where you have your two, no, no peeking, no peeking. This is where you have your two walk-in closets. You got one smaller one over here and then one seriously long one on this side. But this is where it turns up because we're about to see something special. So when you walk down, amazing. Absolutely fantastic. This is the first thing we have to talk about, obviously. I can see the memorable buildings of Sunny Isles. I can see the Porsche Design Tower, the Regalia, Collins, all the beautiful houses on the water. It's like, it's literally a dream postcard of Miami. And then I'll, I'll try to do it piece by piece because there's so much to talk about. The light fixtures on the side of the bed, look how elegant that is. And you get them on both sides. King size bed, of course, the lighting going around all of the ceiling, just enough, just enough to make it like mood lighting, but bright enough to, you can see everything. A nice sitting area right here. If you were to remove this, you would have an insane amount of space in front of you, but you know what? Imagine coming home every day. You're like, you know what? Let's, let's take a look. Oh, you're just sitting here and you're just, it's honestly kind of like a dream. I can't even imagine that. But you're just sitting here and you're just like, wow, look at the weather, beautiful day, sunning. You got your people tanning on the balcony, something else. And I know you see this cannon next to me. This is a huge projector screen. It's a projection screen that comes down. It's like an IMAX theater in your bedroom. And before we continue on with the rest of the property, you're gonna get your own private balcony, obviously. And as you come out, the one thing I'm noticing, unlike other penthouses that we had visited before, the peace and the quiet. I can, I can whisper if I want, and you can clearly hear me. Well, I'll talk even lower. I'll do ASMR. I'll do some ASMR in this. It's crazy. You can just hear, all you hear is each other, calm and peace, little boats. Just wave at your neighbors, I don't know. And just the design of this building is really cool. You're at the top, top floor, so you get that nice, view of the structure and everything and the sitting space out here. This is probably where the most terrace space is, as it should be. And you get all the views from every balcony and a little extra further. And down there, you can actually see, uh, that's the city of Fort Lauderdale, down there all the way in the distance. The views are immaculate and we haven't even finished with this unit. So let's go back in real quick. One thing that I, uh, one thing that I did miss, I didn't check to see what this is, okay. You get this on both sides. It's like a little medicine cabinet, but a floor to ceiling medicine cabinet. It's pretty cool. And as we come in, here is your master bathroom. That's more like it. Same, it almost feels like there's two masters in this unit because same walk-in shower, soak-in tub with the skylight right above and then your ensuite toilet, dual sinks, and you got a little vanity doing your makeup and whatnot. Very nice. And I wanna leave you with one last thing before I say goodbye. I wanna leave you with this. I wanna leave you with, you can stay right here. I wanna leave you with, imagine coming home every day, throw your coat off, have a glass, your favorite drink, and you just come out here and you go, and on that note, I'd like to say thank you for taking the time to come on this tour with me if you'd like to see more tours just like this one, you've already done it, because I asked in the beginning, but if you forgot, hit the subscribe button. I won't let you down. Hit the like button, because that's that's for me, that helps me. And uh, follow me on Instagram, why not? If you wanna know about the music, if you wanna know more details about the property, it'll all be down below in the description. And uh, cheers to another one. Thank you.